Hi. Hi, Carol Clark here again with the Los Alamos Daily Post news team. And our guest is George Chandler. He's an attorney in our town, and he's very knowledgeable about elections. And in fact, today he spent quite a bit of his time um, doing just something about elections that he's going to talk to us about. Well, I was a pre presiding judge at the uh, uh, community building, uh, which is one of three sites that we had uh, voting. Um, and we're, we're implementing a new voting system. The, um, it's, we have now a database, computerized database that has all the registered voters in Los Alamos on it. Am I muttering? <laughs> Sorry. We have a computerized database and the system works. We still use the old, the same vote tally machines. Um, the optical counters where you fill in the ovals and slide them in and the, and the machine reads the ballot. But we're, we're checking voters with, not by using uh, paper registration lists that people are used to. And we're not issuing paper ballots off a tablet like we used to do, but rather each time when a voter comes in, we check them off on the database and that database goes... Uh, is immediately updated so that all the sites have an updated database. They can't vote more than once. And then we print out a ballot that's, uh, for a primary is customized for the particular voter, the district that the voter is in. And so the ballots are printed as they come in, as the voters come in. That saves a lot of money because we used to throw away these paper ballots that cost a dollar a piece. And that was a lot of money. And it also is very... Uh, it's quick. It's a lot quicker than the old system. So we had a couple of wrinkles, but it, but uh, it went pretty well today. It was pretty smooth. Um, the other aspect of it is that they have quit using the old system where we had um, a voting center in every precinct, or sometimes there would be two pre precincts. Uh, now we have three centers, and people can come from anywhere in Los Alamos and voted any one of the three centers. And so we worked that today. And of course that works because we can have this computerized database that we upgrade as, that we update as soon as somebody checks in. Uh, so it, that was, uh, it was interesting to do that. We had a lot of people at each one of the centers, more than we really needed probably, but we were trying to train people and we're trying to, we didn't know for sure how everything was gonna work. And so we, we're able to um, establish some, uh, you know, operating parameters that will serve us well in the general election. So that's the story. <laughs> okay. Well, that's very interesting. It's good uh, to let the community know about this. Um, it sure seemed to go a lot smoother here tonight uh, as they brought in the the you know tallies of the votes instead of waiting for all the precincts all over town and trying to you know count and total everything it was much simpler a lot fewer i see i see over there all seven tapes and there used to be 20 or 25 tapes that's right yeah much more efficient and much uh, more convenient for the voters there is a downside to this uh, in some places. This is an optional system that's um, been made possible by a change of state law, and it's a local uh, option. The county chose to do this. Um, a lot of counties didn't, and the reason is that, uh, for example, in Rio Riva, rural counties where people are scattered far and wide, uh, having a centralized uh, location means some people have to travel really far uh, and that could be enough to discourage some people from voting and that, and it would probably be a certain class of people <laughs> um, and so um, so it's not necessarily something that should be implemented everywhere it seems to uh, it seems to work okay here in Los Alamos there were there are some public transportation available and and that sort of thing and, but um it's not a good idea for every place in the state it shouldn't be for it shouldn't be put up as a requirement for everybody in the state 
Well, George Chandler, thank you so much um, for talking to the Los Alamos Daily Post. We really appreciate it. And we'll be talking to you soon in the future. You know I love you, Carol. <laughs> thank you all. We'll be back again with another candidate here shortly.